Oh, the coach just wants some more money. What these cracks in this marine stuff do we control with them? And we want to explore them and see what the cause of the problem was. So I pulled out Phil's report 25 years ago. He said, well, that's what the cause was. They found some of your cracks. But the interesting thing was they were going to do some country measurements, which you can see on the right hand side there. Green means fine. You can just about make out the blue lines, which are the cracks. So the tensions are indicating that there's no evidence of growth in these cracks at the same time as that point seven million for the new environment. So we get some confidence that everybody quotes 0.5 millimeters as being a bit maybe that's okay. But they also have um, other evidence for why the cracks are okay to the environment for the environment, which is what uh, Phil's over the chart in C66 says. If you have a dry environment, the crack bits aren't really good as you should. And we see that in the type of structure where we allow much wider cracks and the cracks are sealed in red doors and then white cracks are set to a much bigger problem. In marine structures, we're having the paper looking at cracks in marine structures after 15 years. And he said, well, they found that cracks up to 0.5 millimeters tend to seal and have a problem. So we looked at it and said, yes, it's a fixed in terms of dry wine, it's probably right, but what about in wet environments? And there was some work by Buzzer where he looked at different crack bricks and the corrosion count. And this is a chart out of his paper. But you can see there the crack bricks on the bottom, 0.5 and 2.5. And you get very high corrosion count at 2.5 mm cracks. But they're very much cut down the time you get to 5 mm cracks. These are some potential measurements over the wide cracks, and you can see the very red areas highlighted in the blue arrow. So we've got these very negative potentials in the argument corrosion of those cracks. And then you can see the bar of those cracks has severe corrosion. So it does, this was really well, everything seems to wind up to 0.5. Can we go wider? Like 1.7 million mils, but this way up 0.5 mils cracks in each other. And said no, so we have to lower this than that. But we can see that as we get wider cracks, they can become a problem. We can't be cavalier about this. In that paper, they related the corrosion, very fast corrosion of these cracks, to the MO to cathode ratio, where we have a very large cathode with oxygen available, and a very small MO that can be very high driving force, and that's shown by those little red arrows, a small area of corrosion of the crack. For over the relation to the bar. Now I've had discussions about that with people here, and maybe we've got different ideas, but we do accept that it's a little bit wider cracks we could get very fast growth, depending on this gap over on the road track. This then shows a job where a very, very damp foundation, the wall was cracked over the foundation. Um, and it was apparent there was a wide crack in the foundation itself, so they excavated it, and this is what they found. And the contractor was saying, it's not our fault that the wall is cracked. It's because you have this crack in the foundation that's led to corrosion. So they excavated it and the contractor said to me, look, they must have cut all the bars that the contractor, subcontractor would do. So look, it was inspected, there's no bar cracking. And um, a nice little story is we then said, and it was really odd because as we water blasted this, the guy that did the water blast and said, the bar just seemed to melt. It was black, but just melted. It does indicate that it was a corrosion situation. And you can get that was after one year. So you might get a very rapid corrosion, which you need to be consistent with in our know, specification. Moving on then to what we were talking about um, water retaining structures and leakage. This is analysis we did. And you can see those up high bars are work by Edgerton showing how and what cracks would seal. Um, you can see that the, um, the limits in Sirius C66 